Welcome back, gainers, to another super fantastic, exciting episode of Comic Gage. And if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess Royal Highness, looking very lovely today, like usual, doing that princess wave. Got the golden hair, so bow down. And there's Coco. So respect. Oh, Coco's here. All right, guys. So today is Monday, and we got a, a little short video for you, but. We're going to be opening a mystery box, uh, not the one we originally kind of promoted a little bit. We were going to but just kind of fell through and we decided uh, we're not going to open it for you guys. So, uh, sorry. yeah, nothing else with that. We're just not going to do it. So uh, on top of that, though, we are going to open something we haven't opened in a while, but we really do love and hold near and dear to our heart. And that is that Spider-Man booth. 2.2 mystery box we're super pumped about this uh if you guys have been watching our show for a long time this is kind of like our bread and butter like we started open this is what started us opening mystery boxes was that spider-man booth and we did a lot of the regular like 2.0 boxes for for almost like a year straight we we're opening like constantly won a ton of great prizes and then um nothing really happened the box didn't get worse it's actually better now than it was we just kind of you know wanted to open up some other things and yeah diversify yeah you know we're kind of overloaded on the variant books a little bit and if you guys know that they get a lot of variant books but from what i've been seeing he did uh that's where booth did the 2.1 box and then that now the 2.2 and almost like it seems to be they're bumping out um one of the throwing books each time so it's like some people have opened up didn't get any throwing books at all which is really cool and there's a lot of these you know princess and zach have, have both kept a bunch of the variants that we've gotten out of these that they really do like i don't like them as much but uh, I like it when they sell. When we don't like it, we sell them and we get our money back. So you get the opportunity, you know? So. And then they usually have pretty well-known artists in there. So that's pretty nice. And then you can only get them through, usually through that these boxes. Yeah. Or possibly on their street-level hero website. Mm -hmm. And you have a great opportunity to win a grail every time. Some of them really big, some of them medium-sized. But they're always there and the chance to win it. So that's really, really cool. But there, you know what always is there a chance also to do? Yeah, it's a drink of beer, and mm -hmm. I happen to have one, freshly delivered from the grocery store. Here's a Juicy Domination IPA. It's tropical, guys, so it's going to be a little fruity. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and somewhere in here is a point two. A point two is the best part. Oh, also, it's a Nikasi Brewing Company. It's from Oregon. Bend, Oregon, right? Did we say that? The Bend, Oregon. The Bend, Oregon. It might be Bend, Oregon. No, it says Eugene. Canon Eugene, I was wrong. All right, I'm gonna drink it. Good old Eugene again. Ooh, ooh, I like this pop. Oh yeah, that's okay. All right, so let's crack into this thing here. All right, so um, Ed, nothing's changed on these. Where it's still uh thirty dollars uh to buy one box, and if you get two of them, then you get free shipping. So like we said, we we always recommend to do the free shipping on these. I think um, like going forward with that Spider-Man booth, we're kind of planning on. The idea is when, like, a good GP drops, we're going to jump in on this and try and pick up a couple boxes. See if we can get in on the uh, on the GP. You got oh. something cool on the back now? So, the Superior V20, when's that coming out? Pretty soon, I think. Yeah, there's already... This is one of the variants. Fathomania? I'm, I'm guessing everybody gets one of these. But then you only get 100 of these and 200 of those. No, that might actually yeah. be like... So, they got the new box, the Fathom... Uh, Fathom Mania special, and then on the back, it looks like there's a couple books for the next Superior. It says Superior V20, and then you've got the Fathom Mania limited to 200, limited to 100. So it's kind of interesting. The Superior box, you know, as you guys know, kind of went a little downhill from what it used to be, but he's taking a huge break, which means I'm thinking the 20 is going to be amazing. We're definitely at least getting one, maybe two. If maybe that goes crazy, five. maybe even, yeah, maybe even a bunch. I, I have a feeling, the market. get the V20, it's going to be awesome. He didn't wait this long to make a crappy box. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be cool. So, let's get into this thing. Okay, here. So, it's, so it's, the main reason we picked up this one is that the, the main hit was the FF52, uh, right? Yeah, first Black Panther. Yeah. All right, you want to go first? Start from the bottom? Yeah, sure. I think. Right. I think it's the top, but. I don't know, is it? I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's been such a while since we opened these. Well, let's start with the top. Okay, it's definitely the bottom. Uh, whoa. whoa. Ah, oh, now God. Ah. All right, so this there's this double blade uh, cyber sword user. Uh, <laughs> lightsaber user. Cyber sword. I, I don't really understand what's going on. Does she have multiple arms or is this one floating? 
It's a cool cover, though. I've Is never there more seen than one arm? No, oh, there's two. There's two I lightsabers. I think it's from the Star Wars High Republic. There's one. There's a character that looks like that. That is a double lightsaber. It folds back over okay. into like a long one. Weird. It's cool though. Nice. It's cool. A nice virgin hit right off the bat. So it's thirty dollars. So that's that. Definitely the tops are the hits. So we're starting from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Go the other way. Ooh. Okay. So you got X Men. Um, Marvel yeah. number five got a nice Gambit. Um, David Nakayama cover. So that's yeah. really pretty cool. Little Infinity action. Yeah, I like that one. It's not bad. That'd be a lot. They had to do that digitally. Had to, unless uh, this painting goes on forever. Unless, unless initially he did the artwork of the main one, and then did took that and digitally added it in and made the fit rapid one. Oh yeah, we got Thor number seven. Ooh. Pretty cool. Okay. That's an older book for them. Yeah, I think I don't think we had this. Version. That's the Mercadio. We had a version of it, I think, I, but yeah. it was a slightly different yeah. cover. Mercadio. I thought there was something gonna pan out with that cool because it had Noel on the cover, and then I don't think I didn't think it was worth it, like as much as like I thought was gonna happen with that one. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. all right. So no throw-ins so far, guys. That's why I've seen other people open. You didn't get any throw-ins. Oh, Ooh, cool. okay. This is cool. So you got uh, Hellfire. Uh, number 21, the David Nakayama cover. I actually like this one a lot. This one's really cool. Emma Frost. It kind of has that, um, what is that, like a, like a Cosmo magazine cover? Yeah, Cosmo or one of the other magazines. Which one, which one of the other one? One of the other ones. Glamour? <laughs> Glamour? Oh, he knew Glamour. All right. And then there's another one. I caught, no, Ma Max, yeah. Max something? Maxim? Maxim? Yeah. That's a men's that's, magazine. No, there's a one that's something that sounds similar to that. This is cool. This is Aliens number one. Oh, yeah. I think that actually yeah, that's pretty cool. Aliens is going to start to get a little bit hotter with that TV show coming out. Ooh, I like it. The I don't know if they could use some of the stories they're using in the new, in the new storyline for the TV show. Here's a, here's a bag that has only a piece of tape on it. Huh? And usually, I think you'd feel it. If he had that, it'd probably be like triple, ba triple boarded. Yeah, triple. Yeah. There's one, too. Oh, I actually like this one. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 79. I'm guessing this is the Delato by the look of this guy. Actually, you know, for the little bit darker cover, this one looks cool. You can actually see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And like all like the kind of sweat and rain dripping off. I actually like that cover. Really, really <laughs> cool. $15? Sweat. Sweat, sweat. That's probably close. I mean, I don't think most of the variants aren't the regular trades are, aren't usually under ten bucks for the most part when you're trying to resell them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like hobgoblin, but with like venomized kind of way. But that's Dylan, right? Oh no, that's Virus? that's the mom. That's a no. That's a, is it? I think that's the mom. That should be twenty six, right? Venom twenty six. I have no idea. That looks like it could be, but obviously he's on it's the actually glider. a cool cover. They're on the glider, but mm -hmm. I want to say that's actually like Dylan's mom. I can't remember what her name is. Dylan's mom. Ooh, oh, another virgin. Mm. That's cool. They're putting forty dollars on these ones, but this should be the the Noel eyes Thor, right? So this is, I think, this is seven or eight, nine or ten. <laughs> no idea. One of them. It's good cover, I'm not gonna remember it. Good cover. Getting some nice virgin action here. Yeah, nice. You yeah, know, nothing wrong with the virgin. <laughs> I mean, basically, guys, like same price as the box was before, but you're clearly getting way more value. It's like double the value in the box. This is cool. I think we've gotten this before, but I love this cover. It's Gambit. Ooh, I've never seen that in a, in a virgin. And she like has some like mini wings going on. I don't know what the wait. I oh, is it a Kirkham? No, I I don't know. No, it's probably a Mike Mayhew. Or it says it right here. My eyes are. Oh, is that the J and Saletto? Andy after after Andy Cooper. Dang, I can't read the I can't read the actual artist. So it's homage, I guess, after Andy Kubert. But it's not an Andy Kubert cover. But as you can see, she's transforming from oh it, I know what it was. She's transforming from From Rogue, Rogue to Mystique. There you go. Oh Tricking the gosh. Gambit. I gotcha. That's funny. That's a good cover. I like that one. That's good. And I think the cover is that X Men is it fifteen or where it shows Row kissing Gambit. Oh yeah, from their second run from X Men Volume Two. What? All right, last what one, guys. Like last one in there. Ooh, issue. Was oh, whoa! This is a weird one, but cool. Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Is it like a the purple? Is there a purple ranger? What color is that? There's one? a pink ring. I think that might be the pink. The ranger. pink ranger. But or that's Rita maybe because <laughs> she actually got a form of a Power Ranger. Too. It kind of does with the way the shoulders look. Yeah. But cool. So uh, yeah, you got a Power Ranger book here. 
I don't know my Power Ranger numbers, so I'm not sure which one. But there's a couple of good books that came out recently with uh, Power Rangers that had a little, a little bit of value behind them. But yeah, so I don't know. I'd say review of that Spider-Man Blue Box, good box. Yeah, good not box. even one throw. Yeah, not as the same. Like, I saw the other two point two boxes, no throw-in books. It's like basically that's like what uh, eight books? No, ten books. It was ten books, right? Uh, each one got five. Yeah, ten. ten books you can sell. So that's guaranteed. That's double value, easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you could probably minimum sell t ten bucks a piece. That's a yeah. like hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. And he spent sixty dollars for the box. So. Yeah, and you had that chance to win uh, the extra gains. You know, like we like those extra gains. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we got to have to do this video last minute, so we'll wrap it up real quick. But we enjoyed being with you. If you enjoyed being with us, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new things are going down. Oh, leave us a notification down below. Let us know what you guys think of the 2.2 That Spider Man booth box. Um, we're really, let us know what you guys, if any of you guys are picking up the V20 too, because we're, we're definitely getting the V20. We're throwing down. It's going to be crazy. And uh, anything else there? Oh, you got to share. How do you do that? So you have to bring back memories from your childhood that you don't quite remember. So this is going to be a little rough. So you got to be released by a witch or brought in by a witch to help take care of these teenagers with attitude. Some other bald guy, because you're bald too, <laughs> brought them in, but not Green Berets. I'm still upset about that. And you, you have no skin. And your brains are showing. So it should be easy takedown. And the only armor that you have just kind of you know, covers up just the bare minimum of your body. You're wearing a metal Speedo. What's up with that? Metal shoes. Can't oh, be comfortable. <laughs> and that's how you become Lord Zed. Uh, the power wages. Go power yeah, I mean, He showed up. He, like, whooped everyone's butt. Yeah, Remember he that? was really tough. Yeah, put everyone in lockdown. And then he gets beat down by Ivan Ooze. Yeah, I love Ivan Ooze. Ivan Ooze. That's a cool character. It's, it's so bad. It's so bad. Zed was like, okay. Awesome. And then, like, Ivan is like, okay. And then they get beat by, down by a bunch of robots. Yeah. Later on, yeah. too. I was like, what the? It's not that tough. Yeah. What the? Ooze was tough. All right, guys. Until we see you next time, remember, stay safe and get those ooze gains. No, don't get those yeah. ooze gains. No, yeah, don't get do those Zed gains. Yeah, get them. Zed's yeah. dead. Zed's dead, baby.